<laughs> Hopefully you got the AC cranked up here. We're talking about temps in the mid and upper 80s by the time we get into the weekend with the humidity coming back. So if you enjoyed this little taste of fall, it is uh, going away quickly. But there's another front coming. Uh, Pembroke Pines, one of the areas here, but otherwise Fort Lauderdale, Miami, for, and uh, the Keys here stayed in the uh, 70s, homestead at 62 as well. Average high is mid 60s, so not too far away from that. The temperatures, though, this afternoon uh, were nice and comfortable. We're in the mid and upper 70s right now. We had low 80s this afternoon. We hit 82 at the airport. Not much in the way of radar and clouds, just not enough moisture out there. Still some dry air up and down uh, the atmosphere here, so we're looking good. If you're stepping outside, temps in the mid 70s will hold that through the end of the evening. And notice compared to yesterday with the dry air temperatures, we're already tumbling into the 60s. We're going to stay mid 70s through uh, the end of uh, the evening. Uh, back in a second with that uh, more on the um, end of hurricane season. We're all excited about that. Warm and isolated showers heading uh, through uh, tomorrow. This is going to continue into the weekend. The weekend still looks good. Rain chance is only about 10 to 20 percent for some isolated showers. So I think it is uh, looking just warm and humid. Keep that in mind if you have outdoor plans. And then this frontal boundary is going to make a run at us for next week, and that will drop temperatures again as we head through the day on Wednesday and towards the end of the week. So this is the time of year these fronts come in. We warm up all over again. Another front comes in and we cool down. So the roller coaster will continue. But as far as anything really cold coming at us here, I don't see that uh, in the cards uh, for us uh, for the time being. As far as rain track, you're checking in on uh, conditions for your Friday as we get into the weekend here. It looks pretty quiet and, and we'll start noticing a little bit more moisture to work with on Saturday and into Sunday as well. And that'll bring us a slight chance of a shower, about 10 to 20% coverage. Notice that flow out of the southeast, out ahead of the uh, frontal boundary that won't come in until we head into the middle part of the week. And the tropics, of course, last day of hurricane season, 14, 7, and 3. That's the average for a normal year. We did well above that, 20 named storms. But an interesting season, not only was it the force busiest, uh, busiest but it felt like it, there was not much action, right? But we got all these names on the board. What happened was, well, these are the tracks of the storms. We had two assists here. The sea surface temperatures did not help. That's why you had all this activity. But then the jet stream started dipping down. And remember, all the storms started curving out to sea. We also had a lot of wind shear driven by El Nino in the Caribbean, which was the reason we didn't have much action here as well. We'll talk all about that in our wrap up of the hurricane uh, season coming up on our special at 8 o'clock tonight on our steam streaming uh, platforms. There are the rip currents of Florida tomorrow, still looking at high, and now a small craft caution. We had that for the Keys yesterday. We've added the Atlantic waters as well with moderate chop conditions there. As far as the uh, forecast, then we'll check in with temperature temperatures in the mid 80s for tomorrow is going to start feeling stickier out there. The humidity is coming up and look at these temperatures by the weekend near record highs with numbers in the mid to upper 80s before that cool down with the next front coming in just before the first day of Hanukkah.